Hello, hope you're doing really well. Morning, because <laughs> it is the morning. Um, come to finish what I started uh, a while back now. And uh, this is Oxenden Tunnels part two. This is where we're gonna visit the abandoned Oxenden Tunnel, which is the one that's parallel to the one that we checked out last time. Background bit of information if this is the first one you're watching out of the two. Don't worry, the link will be in the below about section for you to check out the first one. So, long story short, I came here. I normally record in bulk because it just makes it easier rather than taking three hour car journeys just to one specific location. So, went out. This is my last one of the day was going to record them separately anyway but um, by the time I checked my camera or well, the one that I'm using right now the battery was dying and the memory was slowly <laughs> slowly getting smaller so I made the decision to do the publicly accessible one out of the two for the very sheer obvious reason that it's publicly accessible but not only that out of the two, it's the one that's got the air shaft. And uh, luckily, I managed to record that without the... Literally, I think it was like on like... We're talking like a couple of minutes left of battery left on the on this very device. But I'm back. And I'm uh, going to finish it off now. So we're going to explore the abandoned parallel one. If you want to know more about the information of Oxygen Tunnels, go, like I said, check out the link to the first one. Today we're just going to literally explore the abandoned one that is next to it. So stay tuned, let's go and finish this off. Let's do it, come on. Hey, hi. So before we start, this is on the main path and I was gonna, I was debating last time whether to film it, but because I'm returning, I thought I will. Now I don't really know about this, but I've got a very reasonable assumption this is to do with the train line because we are on the train line as you can see. But if you come in here, you can see what appears to be a brick structured building that I reckon has something to do with the train line although in my old naivety or honesty i have no idea i mean um but it's on the train line and it looks right dated wise to the bricks etc so i would guess that it is but what building this is exactly i have no idea but i thought i'd just show you it because you know it's pretty cool to sort of add extra stuff into these videos when possible like I said I didn't put this one in on the first one so just because again the same principle of like today is that I still don't know what this is I just know that I would assume that it's to do with the railway line because it's on it and because again the structure would date to around that time anyway but there you go before I just show you this tiny little brick brick structure we'll call it for today with a nice little wooden framing on the side. There you go. Anyway. Come on, let's go. We, we don't need to spend any more time in here, do we? Let's, uh, let's make our way out. Come on. Let's go on with the main event. Right, so we've made it over to the other side now. And you wouldn't believe that this is exactly the same as the one next door's. But it's so overgrown. And yet I'm on the original track line. And uh, you can see the bank, which would have divided both of the tunnels up. But um, you wouldn't believe that this is chalk and cheese next to each other, really, in terms of what overgrowth and everything else. And yet, you know, they're the same tunnel. Well, not the same tunnel, but they're the... They're the you know what I mean, I can't think. Huh. Yeah, it's like a... Reminds me of the old school days when I used to go tunnel exploring. You know, the old... 
overgrowth and everything else. Always damp and muddy, which this is no exception. So yeah, but there she is. The other Oxenden Tunnel, which makes it the Oxenden Tunnels. And uh, hopefully we can get in and have a nosy. So let's do that right now. Come on in. say this tunnel has an atmosphere is an understatement. Now I'm obviously on my own so it kind of means that it's going to be a bit different anyway. And knowing that there's no air shaft in the middle like its neighbour, this tunnel has a really weird atmosphere about it. Not in a spiritual way, just very very weird and creepy. Like I am so expecting to encounter someone. Strange because um, it's actually coming out pretty okay on uh, again without having to look through. But you can see how black it is in here. And there's the entrance. So again, I'm sorry if it's going to be a slightly poor lighting, but desperately going to try my best to document this for you. Wow! Look at this. Think about this one. Really, really weird, creepy, eerie. Uh, track floor again. It's graffiti. Yeah, very weird this one. And there's a bend in it as well, which again you can't really see. But uh, yeah. Keep plodding along, very weird. Right. Okay. And then we come to our first side, and look at that. It's huge. I don't remember it being as big as that in the one next to us. Look at the size of that one. Again, it's so difficult, but trust me when I say it. We are in a tunnel, not just in a black hole. <laughs> Again, because I'm on my own, the torches sort of do it. You know, it's not coming out as well. Because obviously more people means more light, doesn't it? But it's huge, this tunnel. Like, it just feels like it's going on forever and ever. And like I said, coming to a bend is, like I said, in a strange way. As long as I can see it. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. So the idea was that this was single track. Cool, this one definitely has an atmosphere about it. Really weird, quite creepy. Where the spider sense on this one's tingling all over. I don't know why. Because Literally, in that wall there, through there, is its uh, other tunnel. Again, sorry about lighting, I can't, really can't do much about that. I 
don't have the money to afford you know a very expensive torch so just have to do what I've got you can see where it's starting to curve so yeah there you go so black now. The tunnel is almost disappearing. Looking at the floor where the tracks would have been. Getting all this erosion from the water seeping up. what as engineering goes it's just incredible isn't it so obviously unlike the other one that you saw there were reflectors but obviously that one's for the public you can see this one is in a hell of a lot more of a worse state really crazy how I can see totally clearly through my torch and yet that's not coming through at all in that camera so I'm really apologizing for that if anybody wants to buy me a really expensive super bright torch candy because <laughs> I am poor now look just a mini blob wow look at this Trips that we can hear. Wow. Bright white, look at that. Just the colours. At least that's coming out in the camera. I do wonder sometimes when I'm down here, I'm like, although. Though this isn't going to be the most dangerous one you've ever seen, I do think myself, oh god, why do I do this on my own? Because <laughs> I don't think that uh, with my mental health the way it is, it sometimes helps it. Because <laughs> I'm just sort of enjoying it on my own, I'm thinking, oh man, I wish someone was there to enjoy it with me, but, you know. Looks pretty flooded from here, though you can't see that, but at least you can see the entry exit. So I'm desperately sticking to the sides here so at least you can get to see something, but I'm assuming these are the cable holders. I think you can see running across. Wow. It's 
just the colours in here might as well be their own unique artwork. You know. I do apologise that you can't see it as clearly as I can see it. I really do mean that, I just, you know, it's a shame, but I've tried. Which is why I'm sticking to the wall. But at the end of the day, this is just a railway tunnel, an abandoned one, that really shouldn't be abandoned, but it's nice that the public have got one to go through. Well, actually, there's a couple, because I did mention in the previous options and tunnels that this whole area really is completely covered in, I wouldn't say covered, that's an exaggeration, but there are plenty of disused tunnels within a very close proximity of this area. And one that in fact we'll probably do for a video at another date. So. Just curious about this one. Go on to the other side, but really the colours all on here. Sadly, however, when I come to the end of this one, I've got to go all the way back because you can't actually get out of this side. So, uh, yeah, but I won't be recording that for you because that's just going to be even more boring isn't it bloke walks through one walks through tunnel comes back on self it's not the best is it you never know you might like that but if you do then let me know in the comments below if you like me you know walking back and forward <laughs> the water and the line continuing it's actually a very beautiful tunnel um, you know so uh, yeah I've just looked there's no way I can get out of there going all the way back to myself. But we've made it. It's beautiful really because you can see where the track would have carried on. You can just see this how dark it that is how dark it is literally. Pitch dark. Spiders webs. Try and switch some stuff off. Well. There we go. That was Oxenton Tunnels Part 2. Revenge. I've got to walk all the way back now. And uh, I'm not taking you with me because you've seen it, haven't you? We've seen bits of it, haven't you? So. In what words of Phoenix history, thank you so much for coming along with me, for your patience, your kindness and everything else in between. It really means a lot. Stay tuned for some more exciting videos. Hopefully it'll be a bit more exciting than this. And uh, take care everybody. I'll see you all very soon. Kapow.